17s, the Five Stripes officially controlled their own destiny. Top seven seeds locked in as we now continue the journey towards the postseason with two of the final three matches ahead of us being some of our toughest opponents to date. That's Jason Longshore. I'm Joe Fry. All for Jason. You'll already be in the air by the time the 17s are watching this one, but we're heading to Philadelphia with the goal once more of giving them a curtain call after that unforgettable two to nothing in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. That saw uh, Tiago Almada golazo after the free kick. He volleyed at home. Brooks Lennon, Mr. Reliable, having a finish. Let's hope we can recreate a product just like that in their territory now. Yeah, having some fresh legs is going to be a great thing for Atlanta United as well. Philadelphia played last Wednesday. They played on Saturday. Atlanta United got to rest, but also got to build up for these two big games against two of the teams that are right in front of you in the MLS Eastern Conference. A trip to Philadelphia where the Five Stripes have not won since 2018, and then Columbus come into town. And we've seen what Wilfred Nancy has done with the crew this year in his first year in Ohio. Let's focus now on the Philadelphia Union and the boost that it's been for us transfer window wise as of late. Sabalo Janitza have to give him a shout out for his recent performances of three goals, three assists in his first 250 minutes of MLS play. Him being just the third player in MLS league history to have done just that. The impact has been instant. Philadelphia, on the other hand, has been slow in the previous couple of games. They're winless in the last five now. Gazdag, we always know the production that he has up top, and he's been one of the sharpest finishers across the entire league with 13 goals so far this season. Fighting for that golden boot along with Yorgos Yakamakis, who we could see get the boom Yakamakis counter going once again. Gazdag has converted a lot of penalties this year, so keep that in mind we're talking golden boot. Yorgos Yakamakis does not have a penalty converted, if I'm not mistaken, and Gazdag has quite a few. But look, this is a Philadelphia team that's played a lot of games, and I think it's starting to hit them. Andre Blake talked about it this week. This is a team that went into the semifinals and into the third place game of the League's Cup. This is a team that was in the semifinals of the CONCACAF Champions League. They've played, I think, 11 more games in all competitions than Atlanta United. They haven't always used their depth in Philadelphia, and that's been a conversation way before this year's crowded schedule. They have a number of players who have been injured as of late. They have a number of players who've kind of hit the wall as of late. And how Jim Curtin dials the lineup up is going to be a really big talking point for this match because a couple players, Jacob Glesnes, might be back into the team mm -hmm. for this game. Gazdag, Carranza, Uwa, they've all had rest over these past couple of games. What is the lineup going to look like for Philadelphia against an Atlanta team that Gonzalo Pineda will be able to pick from quite a few different options, but no one's tired. Fatigue and recuperation, such big factors as we get into this stage of the season. And like you said, we got a nice little preview of these two teams who are stacked right on top of us in the table. Currently, we saw Philadelphia taking on the Columbus crew, one of the more physical matches that we've seen across the entire 2023 campaign. We know that with the brand of football that you'll get through the union. Crashing and banging, we saw them take down Julian Carranza. A couple of controversial penalty moments right down there. <laughs> and in the end, it was a 1-1 draw between those two. So we start in Philly, then we come back to Atlanta to welcome the Columbus crew, a game that I think these guys have had marked down for quite a while now as a revenge chance. After what happened in Columbus, Ohio, now we come to flip the script here inside of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. They will take on the New England Revolution before then hopping on the plane to come to Atlanta. Cucho Hernandez, 14 goals on the season. Him combining up top with Christian Ramirez and eight for himself. One of the more physical pairings of strikers across this entire league. In a side, mind this, 17, 62 goals so far this season. That is tied in the East and in the West as well as the highest scoring offensive output league-wide for Columbus. Yeah, this is two really different matchups for Atlanta United. Philadelphia, they're not really a team based on having the ball. Columbus is. So it, it's an interesting adjustment going from a game where you're going to get pressed all the time to a, a, and a team that wants to counter in Philadelphia to a team in Columbus that will press, but they want the ball and they want to dominate possession. They're going to play some keep away at times. So that's an interesting adjustment over these two games. But for Atlanta United, in my mind, the key is the depth that we have seen growing in this group. And we saw it in that last week of play where seven points were earned. You saw very different lineups in those games. You saw rotation in the midfield. You saw rotation on the wings, especially. You can go four players deep on the wing with Saba Lobjanidze and what he's produced with Sean De Silva and what he produced last time out, with what Tyler Wolf produced in DC, and what Edwin Mosquera has been producing. 
that's really good depth. And when you have two games in a tight window against two difficult opponents that are gonna make it difficult, you've got to have the ability to rotate your wingers. Playoffs clinched in one of the most hostile environments of the entire league. It doesn't get any better than this. Per usual, 17s, you can catch this match in Philadelphia through the MLS season pass on Apple TV. Kickoff at 7.30. You and Mike will be putting on the headsets against Jim Curtin and company, hopefully looking to make another mythical narration against these guys once again after a fantastic result here at home. Yeah, this is a place that we are dying to see a result for Atlanta United. 7 o'clock with the Five Stripes countdown. Kick off 7.39 and we'll have an abbreviated full-time report afterwards. And then Saturday against Columbus, same time, 7 o'clock for Five Stripes Countdown. But you can listen to our commentary on Apple TV MLS Season Pass by choosing Home Team Radio for Saturday night. Don't forget to take advantage of that audio option as well, 17s. Jason Longshore, Joe Fryhall for 17s. Two massive matches coming up. We'll see you guys for both of them very soon.